this cycle of change we'll call pre-contemplation, far better described as fuck off and let me drink, through to contemplation, yes, there is a problem, and then the bit that says, I'm get, yes, I am definitely going to do, I, I recognize I got a problem, I'm going to do something about this. But what we observe is that there is a bit where our loved ones get stuck. Um, and it's, it's, the, it's the stage of, I've got to do something, I absolutely need to do something, and I will do something. It just isn't going to be today. <coughs> Jolly soon, but not today. And remarkably, it's, it, yeah, that, that's, that feeling of procrastination can, can take a long, long time. And it's things like that that help or in, that encourage, in a bad way, us, as, us as, the, as the loved ones to push people towards detox in the case of alcohol and rehab. And, um, I mean, detox is relatively straightforward. Alco alcohol detox is done to you. And unless you go out of your way actively to sabotage the process, and it does happen. I mean, the last place that was left in London, um, it was no fault of theirs. There was an off-license just outside the gate. And there were plenty of people who would, um, would, would, would sneak out. Yeah, Annie has, Annie's told me stories of people who would sneak out of detox just, just, just for a small bottle anyway. Um, but rehab is different. Rehab is, um, many people are looking, are looking for rehab as a, as a magic bullet. But rehab is done with you. Rehab is down to you. And as loved ones, we want, pe we want people to go into rehab. But rehab done for somebody else is very, very unlikely to work. Asking yourself yeah. whether you are supporting what somebody wants to do or whether you're trying to do it for them. Parents, will, parents have this... Uh, the way they you know, will encourage their children, they'll you know, oh they'll offer to pay for for rehab, they'll encourage them, they'll cajole, and the child will quite often go to rehab. And it, but it's it's actually do, the child is going there for a break, doesn't particularly want to get better. And Annie has stories as well from when she was you know, she was in a rehab down in South Africa, and there were people at the end of the table who would be talking about, yeah, actually there's quite a good bar in the airport on the way home. Um, they're not there to get better. They're there because they've been told to go or they want a break. They don't want to get better. So my long-winded message here is that all, all recovery has to be self-willed. <laughs>